I'm going to take this function here and actually move it to above print string so that in here instead of using put char I can use print unique char. Now when I run this code oh, assuming I can fix these build errors set, oh these need to be defined up above as well. Alright, the correct solution to this when I'm using a whole bunch of functions like this is to put the function prototypes and the function declarations inside of a header file and then to put the definitions inside of an implementation CPP file. So I'm going to do that really quickly. I'll add a new header file. I'll call this CLI for command line interface. And in here, I will put, don't need this guy print unique char print c string that guy and this guy put that all in here prototypes need the semicolons at the end of the function signatures then I'm going to make a new CPP file cli.cpp and grab all of this code the get cursor color, set cursor color, print c string, print unique char put that in here uh, cli.h whoa no that's not that's what I want oh and it, because it's a local header file I need the double quotes and I need to pound include cli.h here as well I can actually take all of this out and move it to cli.cpp almost all of it oh and I need string.h in here pound include string.h I could also use c string std colon colon T-R-L-E-N and I need the standard library if I'm going to use free and malloc but this right here, these codes right here belong to windows.h which sucks because if we didn't need this then we would almost have a platform independent main and then our implementation would be the only thing that required the special windows code which is the right way to to do your programming to reduce the amount of dependency that you have on your platform wherever you can and put it in as few implementation files as possible so that your code is more portable pound include windows dot h just for this for foreground I'll fix that later so now all of this should compile let's try it yep there we go whoa look at that it's all red oh it's because I set it to red when I first started let's take that out there we go now we can see all of the memory and we can see where null is and we can see the difference between null and a new line character are there any other special characters in here any tabs there's a space and we can tell the difference between a space and a null so that's cool now we can identify all the characters 